Please welcome the ever delightful Mr. Jason Schwartzman. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's what's happening? What's happening here, Jason? What are we doing? Well, I um, I uh, I'm so happy to see you, uh, by the way, and 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 in, in, in person. And I was a little bit nervous to come here because I haven't, uh, you know, I'm gotten a little bit used to being in front of a computer. Sure. So it was too fast of a transition for me to um, to just like come in here and maybe put on a suit. I don't know. So I tried to just make this feel a little bit like home. Um, and and these, are the, these are like basically the types of things that I just grabbed these, but that I saw on the periphery of my computer, these are the types of things that I have around me to make me feel comfortable. Um, and you can have, you know, obviously you can have, you can have, so sorry. Uh, sorry about the socks. Um, <laughs> but you can you can have any of that mango or rice cakes or anything. And well, listen, whatever makes you comfortable is thank really you. all we want. That's well, all thank we. Thank you. Thank that's you. All, and, and we are so overjoyed that you are here in person, aren't we? <laughs> We're so happy to see you. Thank you for you. having me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you bought a glue gun. Now, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> last time you were on the show, uh, you you told us that that my voice was in your house daily yeah. because your daughter was into the movie Trolls. But yes. I've heard that she's now moved on to carpool karaoke. Yeah. That's correct. My daughter, she's really into music and getting into to singing. And, and um, you know, and I, I just was like, you've seen carpool karaoke. Have you not seen And she said, no. And I said, oh, we have to watch this because I think it's great for her to see people just laughing and being themselves oh, and, 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 being, and being into music. And uh, it's something, that's why it's so unique. And so I showed her the Billie Eilish one, and she was laughing so hard. And I was like, well, you think that's good? Watch the Sia one. So it became this thing where, like, we're just watching them all the time. The thing that I hadn't sort of planned on was that it, it, she turned, like, our rides to school kind of into carpool karaoke right. episodes. <laughs> um, but there's no music playing on the stereo. She's just singing. And the thing is, I love it. I'm proud of I want her to, I love, that's what I wanted, the love of music. But I, I did not count on it being so distracting to my driving. Right. And so, and, and it's really loud. And she's really belting it. She's just learning of her voice and so much power and youth. But I, I do, I don't know how to quite say it, but it's like, you know, this isn't carpool karaoke, sweetheart. Like, we're going to school. I'm not James Corden. This is not a Range Rover. This is a much smaller vehicle. <laughs> I, the sound, the sound, it's, it's a, gets to me a lot more quickly. Sure. Please, I love you, but I want you to have a great day at school, by the way. I love you, and keep singing, but let's... It's too dangerous. I can't, I don't know how to do it. And, and I, I really admire your ability to, you know, to do it. <laughs> well, yeah. that's... It's, it's, it's really hard. I like that you're such a, you've got such a musical household. You're always working on music. I know that always. you collect a lot of unusual... <laughs> Musical instruments. We've talked about this before. Is there anything new come in? Well, um, I I love music and yes, and instruments. You know, I'm always kind of on the hunt for things. But I I kind of had like this thing somewhat recently uh, where uh, there was this uh, there's a drum machine called an electron mm. analog uh, <laughs> rhythm analog Mark II. But um, I I went to this music store here and I saw you know I, I walked in and it's like just two guys were in there. It's pretty, you know, judgy look, type, maybe just kind of judgy. I'm sitting there, I'm talking to them about stuff, and I feel like I'm, I'm getting cues from the person, like, okay, this guy, he's sort of me. He sort of knows what he's uh, talking about a little bit. Someone walked in and asked, hey, do you have this one drum machine? The guy's like, oh, yeah, we don't carry that. It's, that's more kind of cookie cutter type beat stuff, so yeah, I'm sorry. And the guy left, and he's like, that's just clearly someone who just like wants what's on the mannequin, you know? Uh, anyway, not like you. So this thing over here is really cool because you can create your own sounds. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. He gives me the cable, I walk over, I'm like, I'll test it out. I walk over, I put on these headphones, I'm directly in his eye line across the store, I'm the only one in there. I put the headphones, this is the analog rhythm march, I put the headphones on, and he said, it's so complicated, but it's not really if you get the hang of it. I'm like, yeah. I put the headphones on. I 
turn a thing, and within six seconds, I have erased. <laughs> I've erased the machine. <laughs> and, and, um, and I mean, like, less than six seconds, like that. And now I have a problem, which is that this guy thinks I'm g uh, really good with this stuff, as good as know he is. Know what you're doing, yeah. And I've been like, yeah, let me just go check it out. He, you know, I'll get... And now it seems to be broken or non-functional. And, and, uh, <laughs> and so then I was like, oh, my God, what do I do? I couldn't ask for help that quickly. So I pretended like I was listening to, like, a, <laughs> a, a drum beat. With just nothing in your ears. No all that I heard from a, from a distance, it's like, wow. Like, they were probably thinking, see, this is why I work in a store like this, because sometimes a machine and a man they make a connection like sure. this, and they, they have this, they, they make something, and it's beautiful. What I'm hearing in my head is shh, and I'm going like, oh my God, but I have to keep this like tempo, like, and I, I'm making faces, and I, I sometimes catch the, the guy's face, and I'm like, <laughs> and really, I'm just like, oh, there's gotta be like an alt function reset, like, I, I, and I'm literally like sweating. Finally, in my mind, I calculate, okay, 25 minutes has gone by. This is enough time for someone to have made up their mind about this instrument. So I'm like, yeah, boom, stop. Really, there was nothing plain to stop. I, and I take it off, I go, yeah, it's cool. I mean, I don't know if I love it, but it's really, it is neat. Uh, I'm gonna go think about it. Um, I'll see, in a, I'm gonna ha actually leave right now. So I'll see, but thank you so much. And I leave and I just was like mortified because if the person had walked over and put the headphones on <laughs> after I had just left, and was like, what was he doing? What was that beat that looked so exciting? It would, it would be very clear immediately that I was uh, lying. Nothing. Uh, yeah, he would say he broke it, in fact. Um, so I haven't bought anything since that experience, nor have I been back to that store. I don't think you can ever go back to I that store. I definitely can't go back to never. that store. Never. I don't think you ever can. That's the truth. Now, let's talk about your brilliant movie, Mainstream. It's directed by your cousin, Gia Coppola. For anyone who doesn't know, tell us what it's about and who you play. Well, um... It's, it's, um, it's about this uh, young um, uh, filmmaker, artist, aspiring fil filmmaker played by Maya Hawk, uh, who is trying to find her, um, you know, her voice and what she's going to make. She wants to direct film. She's not... And she meets um, in public one day this character, Link, played by Andrew Garfield, who's incredible. Best actor. In yeah. Incredible. And um, she films him, and she puts this video on the internet, and it becomes a huge uh, sensation. And basically, it's like the story of fo following, like, kind of like an influencer, like, internet star as they're gaining momentum and trying to keep, like, what made them them, like, somehow pure, but having to kind of, like, come up with demands and meet, get views, and I... Uh, play his manager, which is uh, hysterical because I, I mean, I read the script. I had, I was like, I don't even know what this is about. I might as well be reading like a different language. Um, I don't know anything about any of those uh, YouTube influ. I don't know that stuff, but uh, I, I love it. And um, I, lo and Andrew Garfield is pretty nuts, like yeah. pretty amazing to to work with. He's amazing, and you are always brilliant. And I'm no. so excited to see this film. It looks absolutely brilliant.